A new feature in Raw Power 3.0 is the LUT adjustment. LUT stands for lookup table, which is a technical term for a large table of numbers that describes how to convert every possible color in an image. A lookup table can tint an image, make it black and white, or make very significant changes to an image's appearance. LUTs are very popular for two reasons. First, they make it really easy to apply a look to a set of images as is typically done in movies. Secondly, because a LUT is a single adjustment, it can easily be combined with presets or other adjustments. Raw Power ships with a bunch of LUTs and it's possible to add additional ones. If you search the internet for LUTs, you can find a number of companies that provide LUTs for free or for purchase. I recommend the company LUTify.me, which has provided Raw Power with a number of expertly designed LUTs. The LUT adjustment in Raw Power is very easy to use. LUTs are organized by folder. At the top, you've got the LUTs that you have yourself added and the built-in ones. The built-in ones have three categories, creative ones, ones that simulate film, and the ones from LUTify.me. The film simulations are intended to look similar to analog film, but not identical. LUTs can only include color, so they can't include grain or vignetting or other things you might find in analog film stock. To try different LUTs, tap on a folder and then tap on a LUT. There's an intensity slider at the bottom which you can use to dial back the effect. As you can see, it's really easy to dial back the amount of the effect. I'll try some other LUTs and you can see the big effect that LUTs can have on images. Here are the film simulations. Some are black and white and others are different types of color film. And the ones from Lutify.me as well. To add your own, tap the import button. Raw Power will display a dialog with some help that tells you how to import before you get started. Importing is done through the Files app. So what you want to do is get your LUTs into the Files app Sometimes what I do is I put them on my Mac and then use AirDrop to send them over to files on the iPad. Raw Power supports the .cube file format, which is a standard format that many LUTs come in. The LUTs get processed by Raw Power and then imported. If we tap on the My LUTs, You'll say they now appear, and I can try them out. You can also tap the Show My LUTs button to bring up the folder that has the raw power LUTs. And here they are. And that's a quick look at LUTs. Thanks for watching.